The time for action is here now. The year was 1945. Three and one half years of all-out war had come to an end. As World War II was drawing to a close, 51 countries banded together to form a new alliance, the United Nations. That summer, the first member states signed a charter in San Francisco that defined their core mission, keeping the peace, developing friendly relations among nations, improving lives by lifting people out of poverty and protecting human rights, and to work collaboratively to achieve those goals. We represent all the people of the world, and we work to make sure that every single human being on this earth can have access to basic human dignity. Today, 193 member states comprise the United Nations, and the Cornerstone event each fall convenes them for conversations and often spirited debate about the world's most pressing issues. People are suffering. People are dying. He's the main uh, deliberative policymaking and representative organ of the UN. This is the place where all 193 member states have a seat, and each member state has the right to vote. The most important thing, it is the most democratic place where every country has a voice. But this year, as the UN marks its 75th anniversary, an unprecedented global crisis requires a whole new way of gathering together. Nearly everything will be online this year. A lot of the most serious business is done in those more informal, less scripted encounters. This is probably the largest concentration of difficult conversations happening anywhere in the world at any one time. You lose the whole chemical aspect, the whole contact sport of diplomacy, which is very well established and isn't a luxury. I mean, it's essential to reaching understandings. It's really going to be mostly a virtual event, perhaps even more participatory than it ever was. We're going to make sure everything is broadcast. This is going to be a General Assembly really focused on the impact of COVID-19 and really try to find solutions for how to move forward. While a pandemic response will be front and center, this historic virtual UNGA is also a chance to have important conversations about the key challenges of the 21st century. From creating cyber norms for a safer world, to bridging the growing digital divide, and from protecting our planet, to fostering greater global collaboration to achieve all these goals. So whole world will be there. If you want to hear how the, the pulse of the planet is within those six days, you will learn from every part of the world. We are still the UN, we are open, and our General Assembly is going to work.